Today I'm going to give you an overview of uh, the Department of Electronics and Communication at Srinivas Institute of Technology. Uh, we are living in a technology driven world as we all know, surrounded by electronic gadgets. The Department of Electronics and Communication is an amalgamation of both software and hardware. Provides strong basics to learn today's uh, buzzing technologies like IoT, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics, telecommunications, low power energy, core electronic sectors to name a few. Ample opportunities exist for electronics and communication engineers due to integration of electronics into Industry 4.0 revolution. This includes the opportunities in self-driven cars, autonomous drone logistics, robotics, automation in industries, smart energy systems, IoT, machine learning, etc. Not to forget the promising careers in defense, government and private companies and in the areas of design, manufacture, maintenance, operation, equipments and systems. Let's uh, have a look at the department, which has an excellent placement track record with an average salary of rupees 4 lakhs per annum. Uh, major recruiters are Infosys Technologies, TCS, Global Edge, Wipro, iWave, SLK Software, offering attractive salary packages. It's a well-known fact that students need to be more competitive, not only in terms of technical skills, but also in their overall personality and professionalism. Thus, to bridge the academia and industry gap, which is a reality, pre-placement training is rolled out at regular intervals from the fourth semester onwards laying special emphasis on soft skills. Mini and major projects and workshops helps them get hands-on training. Students are encouraged to do the internship in companies so as to understand the ethics and work culture in real time. Students are also informed and advised on the importance of maintaining good academic scores as these play a major role during recruitment. Now I'm going to take you through the syllabus which the course offers. Some high level courses are the following specializations. Some of the main subjects are electronic devices and analog circuits, digital system design, network theory, computer organization and architecture, microcontroller and microprocessor, digital signal processing, principles of communication systems, information theory and coding, electromagnetic waves and antennas, embedded systems, VLSI design, wireless and uh, cellular communication, Python programming, machine learning. Now I'm going to take you through the course infrastructure. One of our strength is our faculty who are highly experienced and qualified. All are M.Tech and some are pursuing their PhD. The department has signed Memorandum of Understanding, that is MOUs, with several industries and institutes of repute to leverage the transformation of students into a valuable resource for the industry. The objective is to enhance employability of students by imparting core industry-oriented technical knowledge. Faculty and students benefit from these MOUs as they are being exposed to enriched knowledge and real-time experiences. In conclusion, I would like to say ENC is an evergreen branch and if you have an inclination to be in a happening space with a passion for both software and hardware, telecommunications, wireless and cellular communication, then you definitely belong to a branch of electronics and communication engineering. Interested? So here are the details where you can apply.